we ready to meditate with Kari? Are we ready to go on a deep sea diving adventure? To learn about a completely different world underneath the sea? Make sure that you're all comfortable in bed. Your covers are just how you like them. Are you laying on your back, on your side, on your tummy? Lay wherever you feel most comfortable and sleepy. Now let me tell you a story. This particular tale is all about two mermaids that happen to have tails. The two maymaids that I once knew were called Skylar and Luna. They were very different mermaids. And that's what this story is all about. Down there in the depths of the ocean, there's another world, another kingdom, a kingdom full of mer people. There's mermaids and there's mermen, and they live down there with the corals and the sea creatures. They have their home down there. It's a completely different world to what it is upon top of the earth. They're deep, deep down in the dark waters of the ocean. And they love it down there. That's their place. That's where they live. They live so deep down in the ocean. That's why Human people very, very rarely ever see a mermaid or a merman. But I have been told, and I know a couple personally, that they do exist way, 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 way down. Deep down in another world, below the waves. It's very typical for mer people to have an orange golden tail. They're very much like us in a way that some people have light skins, some people have dark skins, some people have yellow skins, some people have blonde hair, some people have dark hair. Mer people are just like that. But the most common color tail is like an orangey, yellowy gold. When Skylar was born, she was born with a blue mer tail like the color of the sky. That's why she was called Skylar. And when Luna was born, she was born with a silver tail, just like the moon. That's why she was called Luna. She had very special parents that were open to the fact that their daughters, their mermaids, 
were quite different, quite unique, as blue and silver tails were very, very, very rare. Like I said, most people, most mer people, had an orange golden tail. Unfortunately, Skylar didn't like to be very different. She had a problem with being different. It made her feel different, and she didn't like feeling different. She wanted to be just like everybody else. Why couldn't I be born with an orange tail, just like everybody else, she would say to her mom and her dad. And from day one, they tried to raise her and tell her, Skylar, embrace your differences. You're a special mermaid. Don't worry about being different. Love the fact that you have a blue tail, just like the sky. Love how different you are. It's good to be different. But Skylar wouldn't listen. Over the years, she tried many, many, many different things to make her tail orange, gold, and yellow, just like all the other mermaids. One time, she heard that if you squish a squid, ink comes out of it. Maybe the ink is red. And maybe if I squirt the ink on my tail, my tail will go like orange. Mixed with my color, maybe, who knows. But to get the ink out of squids, she heard that you had to make them laugh. You had to tickle them right under the arms. She went on the hunt one day for a group of squids. She found them. She started to tell them jokes and try and make them laugh. She did super spins, flips. She did all sorts of stuff to try and make them laugh and then she remembered, that's right, you can tickle them under the arms. So she tickled one under the arms and he giggled and squirted out his ink, but his ink wasn't orange or red. It was black. She got covered in black ink, which did not help. So for two days, her tail was gray instead of blue. That experiment did not work. One time she was swimming and she saw the amazing corals down at the base of the ocean. And one of the corals was orange. I wonder if I stick this coral all over my tail, I look like I have an orange tail, she thought. So she went down, deep, deep, deep down, grabbed hold of the coral, and placed it all around her tail. She had a very spiky orange looking tail. She could barely move it and swim with it. She thought, mm, I don't think this is going to work. She put all the corals back where they belong and decided that that was a failure too. Once again, her mummy said, you have to embrace your differences, my love. Love who you are, everything about you. Your tail is very special, and one day you will see just how special your tail is. One day, trust me, but for now you must Embrace your differences and love your blue mermaid tail. Luna 
on the other hand, was a very different mermaid. She loved how she was different. She showed her differences off to the world. She loved her silver mermaid tail. It glistened when the light reflected through the water and it made beams of light. It was amazing the things that she could do with her tail and she was very, very confident and very happy about the fact that she was different. Who wants to be the same as everybody else? I like being a different color. I like being different, she would tell her sister. But Skylar didn't want to know and she would still feel pretty sad on most days that she didn't look like everybody else. One day, something happened. Everything in the ocean seemed to go very, very dark. The normal amount of light that they got was not there. Everything was dark. The mer people could barely see each other. The creatures could barely see each other. It was so dark, like the darkest of dark, like the blackest of black, like it was nighttime, but there was no reflection, no glimmer of shades, no shadows, nothing. It was just so, so dark. Something was terribly wrong. Luna reminded Skylar that their tails did something very unique with the light. Luna said to Skylar, we could help everyone. We could change this. We could bring light back to the ocean. How would we do that? Said Skylar. Luna said, you know that like my tail, the blue and the white in your tail reflects from the sunlight up in the sky and lights up everything around it. You know that our tails can do that. Let's do it, Skylar. Let's help everyone. Let's help all our friends. Let's show all the mer people how cool it is that we're different. Let's do it. Skylar said, do you think we can? Do you think we really can do this? And Luna said, yes, we can. This is the kind of stuff that we were born for. This is why we're different. So together, they held hands and swam and swam and swam up, 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 closer and closer to the surface of the ocean. Up, they swam so far that it seemed like they were miles and miles and miles away from Merland. Kept swimming up and up until they got close enough where the light from the moonlight was shining down on the ocean. Ah, perfect timing, said Luna. This is my most magical light. The light from the moon, it makes us look so beautiful. We glitter and shimmer. We get so bright with the light from the moon. We get bright with the light from the sun, but from the moon, this is perfect, Skylar. This is perfect. They laid sideways so that the moonlight could shine down as much 
as possible and cover as much as possible of their tails. And then all of a sudden it happened. It seemed for miles and miles around them, the ocean lit up. It lit up into the most brilliant white silvery light that shone down to the depths and covered the entire merland. Even though they were miles and miles and miles away, they could hear the cheers down below. They did it! They did it! They lit up our world! Yay! 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 Hooray for Skylar! Hooray for Luna! Yay! They're our heroes! They saved us from the dark! Both Luna and Skylar laid and they were both so proud. The proudest that they'd ever been and Skylar said to herself, you know what? It's not so bad to be different. It's not so bad to be born with a different color. This is actually pretty darn cool. After the episode where Skylar and Luna lit up the whole mirror land, Skylar never ever worried about the color of her fins, the color of her tail. She started to love them and embrace them just like her parents had always hoped that she would. She started to think that maybe sky blue was her favorite color after all, along with silver, her sister's color. It's really, really cool to have something different, don't you think? You're really sleepy and tired. Time for us to relax and start to fall to sleep. And as we fall to sleep, we can think about all the things about ourselves that might be different. And we can decide to love them. Because it's cool to be different, yeah? As you lay falling to sleep, you can even use your imagination and imagine that your body is just like a mermaid or a merman and your tail is there underneath the blankets and your tail is getting sleepy. Very, very sleepy. It's done a lot of swimming a lot of back and forth and back and forth and the muscles in your tail are very very tired <sighs> feels nice to just lay down and be still to lay here as still as a statue You can imagine that you're laying at the bottom of the ocean, surrounded by all the cool little creatures. If you want to, 
It's a nice place down there. I know for a fact that those mer people are very, very friendly. You can even imagine that your tail is a different color. Maybe your tail is like the rainbows. It's red and yellow and pink and green and orange and purple and blue, all in one. How cool would that be? You can hear the waves. It's very, very peaceful and relaxing. Did you know that mer people have gills on the side of their throat, just like fish, and that's how they breathe down there? That's how they breathe. And there at the bottom of the ocean, the shells and the different shapes are the most coolest shells you will ever see. The ones that we get on the beach are very, very nice sometimes, and you can find very nice shells. But the ones at the bottom of the ocean, the ones in Merland, oh, they're breathtaking. Some of them are so big that you can swim through them. How cool is that? All the different creatures in Merland know each other. So if you're imagining that you're down there as you're falling to sleep, be prepared. You may have lots of different fish coming by saying hi. Hello. Hi. It might be quite difficult to sleep. You can do it. Your entire mer body is very, very comfortable and relaxed. Your head. Your arms, your fins, and your tail, all the way to the tip of your tail, is very, very sleepy and relaxed. of the ocean gently rocks your body back and forth, back and forth, 
as if someone was swinging you in their arms, gently rocking you to sleep. Swaying 